Hey guys, Dib the Awesome here to give you a uh, Monster Legends guide. Um, sorry if I'm not sounding too good. I am still sick. Uh, my voice is still kind of meh. Uh, but today we are looking at Killer Raptor. Uh, I'm doing this for a few reasons. I'm actually doing, I think, at least three monsters. Uh, they're going to be called. I don't know what I'm going to title them yet, but they're each. I'm going to be posting three guides today. Uh, in succession, and there's, it's all going to be about these monsters. Uh, I, uh, first off, why I'm doing Killer Raptor is uh, well, it's it's one of my one of my uh, members' favorite monster, uh, and he kind of requested it, uh, and I said, yeah, why not? Uh, at least that's his favorite Earth monster. Uh, here, one second. Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, this is his ver favorite Earth monster anyway. Uh, and uh, there's a lot of people that don't like this guy, and I don't know why. Uh, people say he's not great. Uh, people, Other people say he's just terrible. Uh, I don't know why they say that. <laughs> uh, he has a really great, ba he has great base stats, and his trade is amazing, uh, and his move sets are pretty good. I think people just don't like just don't like him a whole lot, or they, uh, they don't, they don't think he's that great. Uh, I think it's just because he's old. Uh, he doesn't do AOE stuns, uh, or anything like that. He's just pure damage. I think that's why people don't like him that much, uh, which is really weird. You would think people would love this, uh, love monsters with pure attack and high attacks. That this thing has the highest base power, uh, in terms of earth monsters, uh, in the game, I believe. Uh, he has a really high power, and I don't know why people just disregard him. Uh, his kid is really good, and I'm going to be talking about it. Uh, so yeah, go ahead and listen to me. Uh, go ahead and disagree with me, or listen to me, or agree with me. I don't. I don't really know. Uh, but this is a guide on Killer Raptor. Uh, so his power, like I said, is 3,553. This is the highest base power for Earth monsters. Uh, so obviously, you want to make him an attacker. He's obviously an attacker, by the way. Uh, his life is 29,858. Uh, this is another reason why I wonder why people don't even like this guy. This guy's base power, I mean, base power in life is pretty bulky. Uh, in terms of earth monsters, there are bigger hells. Or at least, like, you know, with Oros and stuff like that. But this is pretty close to being, like, one in the top tier of higher lives for earth monsters. It's a pretty high life. Uh, his speed is 3,432. Uh, that's an alright speed, uh, especially for an earth monster. Uh, earth monsters tend to be slow, uh, this one's relatively fast. And again, I don't know why people don't like him. Uh, it could just be the fact he just doesn't stun. He doesn't have an immunity to stun, maybe, or, like, he just doesn't stun, or, like, any crowd control ability. Uh, like AoE effect or anything like that. He's just solely damage. Uh, now we're going to talk about his ultimate. Uh, oh yeah, he's obviously Earth, by the way, Earth Special, uh, so his weakness is Darkness, uh, and his trait is Hardened. This is a really nice ability, especially for an attacker. Uh, to, for an attacker to have this ability, it's pretty handy. Uh, as you know, like, fucking Voltic has this ability, uh, and you know the times where you don't land your AoE freeze or stun, uh, like, there's a chance, there's that trolley 20% chance that it'll miss, uh, and more often enough, or more often than not, it will actually work. Uh, it's a pretty nice ability to have. Uh, it's not a full resistance to anything, but it, it is like partial resistance to everything, uh, which is really nice. Or like, at least it's a chance to actually miss it. It's, it's nice. Uh, Stampede deals very heavy special damage to all enemies. Uh, this is a special damaging move. If you get this move, the more odds are the game's done at that point. Uh, the, the damage is really high. Uh, don't mind that. I hope it, you guys don't hear the barking. That's that's annoying. Uh, but yeah, here I'm just gonna shut that door. Make sure to shut the kitchen door. Don't let Maya down here. Bye. All right. Sorry we get about that again. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that's... Uh, sorry Again, sorry about that. I was just... Yeah. 
uh, that's family and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, this is a high damaging ult. Obviously, this doesn't do anything, but with ults like these, you're just more so look at the high end damage. Uh, you don't really need an effect at that point if it's going to kill everybody. <laughs> uh, it's just a really high end damage. Uh, and keep in mind, it is special damage. It is a special damaging move. Uh, so we're going we're gonna to skip the first part because it's not that important. We're going to go on to a second uh, group. Uh, deals moderate special damage, gains double damage, requires cooldown. Uh, so basically, um, it does exactly that. It gives you double damage. I recommend this move. Uh, this is why I wonder why people don't, why don't, why people don't like him, really. Uh, because, you know, with the double damage, it's really nice. Uh... Obviously, uh, anything that's not going to be like Earth is just going to take a lot of damage. Uh, I think it's really nice to have it. I, I, I at least think it's going to guarantee a kill on something. Um, following up the next turn. Uh, Triceratops Control. This is a 35 damage AoE. Uh, I would like to you to keep in mind it's a one turn cooldown AoE. This is pretty important. Uh, take note of this. Please take note in the fact it's a one turn cooldown AoE. And it's 35 damage. Uh, that's the base acceptable damage for AoEs. 35 is the base. Uh, it's not as good as 45 damage. But 45 is the highest. In terms of AoE, it's the highest. More so at the higher ends of AoEs. Uh, or second, at least second, because there are 50, level 50 uh, power uh, AoEs walking around some, sometimes, it depends on the monster. But uh, 35 AoE is an okay AoE power. Uh, and keep in mind, it is on a one turn cooldown. Uh, Savage Slashes, uh, this deals heavy earth damage, requires cooldown. Uh, one turn cooldown, 50 damage. So basically you're doing uh, earth damage, uh, Osteo Clash Slash. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that. It might be a better version, uh, so let's just wait for that. Uh, we got a Shelter Bite here. Deals moderate special damage, gains 30 life shield. That lasts three turns, requires cooldown. Uh, I personally love uh, shield moves, so you probably want to pick up on this move too. Uh, it's a really nice move to use. Uh, Paratactyl Control. Deals moderate earth damage to all enemies. Uh, this is 29 stamina, one turn cooldown, 35 damage. Uh, again, look at this now. He has two AoEs with literally one turn cooldowns. Both of them are one turn. Uh, and I think the only difference is, it, like, yeah, they, they both cost different amounts of stamina. That's crazy. You can literally cycle through these two every time you attack, pretty much. Uh, so he is a pretty strong AoE attacker. He's, he's, like, the, the, the main thing you need to get out of this guy is he's good at doing efficient AoE damage. Uh, he'll always be able to do like Paradactyl Control, Darius, Triceratops Control, Paradactyl Control, Triceratops and Control. He can cycle through those moves. Uh, so he can literally do that. That's amazing. Uh, true, it's going to be hard for you to take down the Earth Monster, but everything else is going to die pretty quickly. Uh, just be through the cycle, of, just through the sheer cycle of Earth Control damage. Uh, keep in mind, you got double damage on you too. Uh, so it's not going to take you a while. It's not going to take you that long to steamroll through the other stuff. Uh, we got Brutal Lacreation here. Deals heavy, uh, very heavy earth damage. Requires cooldown. Uh, this is like, again, this is like a, like a different, like OCO classes, but except, you know, it's earth damage. And it's on a, I think it's the cooldowns is, is actually the same, uh, really. But, uh, yeah, this is his, this is his high end earth damage single target move. Uh... I don't know if you should run it because, in all honesty, what I'm going to tell you, the move Musa I'm going to tell you to do, uh, it's going to be kind of more focused on team wars. Uh, this is okay if you don't care about like I mean you can run this move instead of like shelter bite if you don't really or like you know double bite because you have a buffer uh, most of the time so you might not need to do like well, obviously you won't need the double damage because someone will already set you up. Uh, but uh, personally, my choice this is just for in every situation in general. You want to run both special attacks. I know they're like 40 damage, but honestly, with a power boost, this becomes the shelter bite becomes like a you know usually a one hit KO at that point. Uh, if you're running uh, high level runes, uh, which is really high end damage too. This guy's really bulky and he does a lot of damage. That's the two things you need to keep in mind. He does high area control damage and he has like he can be kind of bulky too. Uh, 
Uh, but yeah, you want you want the two special attacks, the two single uh, special attacks, and then you want both AOEs. That's all there really is to this guy. Uh, really, that's that's really I'm not even kidding. That's literally everything. That's the the whole idea of this monster is you you know shut up with double bite and then do like the AOE one of the AOEs to you know KO everything like everything but the Earth monster, and then you follow that up with shelter bite, uh, or you can use shelter bite first to get rid of the Earth monster. Uh, well, obviously, after you do double bite, then you do shelter bite, uh, you know, to get rid of the earth monster again, uh, and then you can proceed to kill everything else. Uh, for runes with this monster, I'm gonna say you don't really need to be faster than any other monster. You just need to be uh, bulkier. Uh, so in terms of runes, I say two strengths and a life, or if you know you want to just shove full strengths, go on ahead. Uh, I, I like a little bulky I like a little bulkiness in my attackers uh, and this guy can kind of do it uh, thirty percent shield is you know you know it's a basic thing uh, for some attackers like Lord Mammoth and stuff like that uh, but yeah that's really all there is to the runes then is you know two strengths a life uh, for partners I'm gonna say uh, you can have another attacker if you want um, if you feel like uh, just you know, just stream roll it with high end AOE damage. You can totally do that. You can pair this guy up with Will Razor Face. Uh, just sheer amounts of AOEs because Will Razor Face has two AOEs. Like days, the days ones on a two turn cooldown. Uh, I always find those AOEs. They basically do the same amount of power, uh, and I always found like that was always enough, uh, especially if you have double damage on you. Uh, Kalik is always a nice partner to have, um, just so you for sure don't get frozen or stunned. Uh, Cavanfish, uh, uh, Frostbite works really great. Um, oh, let's see here. Uh, what, what are some things? Oh, General TDs. General TDs works with anybody, really. Uh, you know, just general deny stuff. Uh, this guy really doesn't need much to steamroll. Uh, if anything, he, you just, you just need someone to take care of, like, the other Earth monster at that point, so any dark partner would work. Yeah, I'll be right back. Alright. I am back. Um, and in fact, I think that's all that really needs to be. Well, okay, I, I, I'll, I'll end with this statement. I think the reason why people don't like this monster that much is because his special damage isn't high. Like, 40 damage is okay, but, you know, I could, you know, there, there are, like, uh, a tomb, for example, is walking around with 65 damage. Uh, special move. Uh, Osteoclast does special damage, too. Uh, single target, high-end uh, special target. Uh, obviously, they're just... Uh, people prefer, people don't like shields, uh, which always confuses me because shields can actually save lives, uh, and they more so prefer things that just do stuns or days. Uh, I, I guess they just feel like it's more relevant. Uh, maybe they don't like the idea of not having full immunity to stun because then the earth monster is just going to stun you. Uh, I think I think that's one of the two reasons why people don't like this monster or just disregard this monster. Uh, and I really think you shouldn't because this guy's got good end damage. Uh, he's very good at d dealing damage and stuff like that. Uh, so that's all I gotta say about Killer Raptor. It's an awesome uh, monster. Uh, it's totally still usable. Don't doubt a monster even if it's really old. Uh, all it needs is the proper setup and you're good to go. Uh, that goes for any monster, really, uh, except, uh, you know, larger con and killer, uh, killer, uh, not a killer rabbit, death under hair. Uh, those two monsters, I don't think you can do much with them. <laughs> uh, but that's all that really needs to be said. Uh, I'm Did the Awesome. I'll catch you guys later.